Thank you so much for that very warm welcome. And thank you, Ellen and Un and Deborah. I'm, I'm so glad and honored to be here with you all today. I have to say that at the age of 31, it's, it's humbling to accept recognition from an organization that has been fighting for women like me for over 40 years. So I feel there's a lot more I have yet to do to, to really deserve that. But I suppose that uh, you know the last few months for me have been eventful. <laughs> <laughs> and some, sometimes people do ask me how I'm doing now that you know, things are back to normal. And I, I appreciate that concern very much, but I have to say that I'm, I'm troubled by the idea that anything is back to normal. It's not normal when women's access to reproductive health care is attacked every day. And it's not normal when it's controversial to assert that women should have affordable access to birth control. And it's not normal when state after state enacts restrictions on our right to choose. And it's not normal when those in power try to deny our own ability to make our own health care decisions based on nothing more than where we live or where we work or where we go to school. And it's not normal when women's access to health care is under constant, unrelenting attack. But make no mistake, there are those who want to make that the new normal in this country. Well, that's not the country that my generation deserves, and that's not the country that I intend to leave to the next generation. So I pledge that I will continue standing up, speaking out, and refusing to be silenced or intimidated, no matter what our opponents may say or do. And I know that by being here today and supporting one of the most effective organizations in this fight, that you are also committed to doing the same. So I thank the National Partnership and all of you who support this wonderful organization for fighting every single day for women's health. Thank you so very much.